it is like the most brilliantly well-oiled comedy machine you've ever seen. They look, they're doing routines that they've done thousands and thousands of times. It looks like something they're doing for the first time every time. It's so real and conversational and fresh and organic. And I, I, I give Dick's mothers a tremendous amount of credit for that. I know what it's like to be a good straight man. Uh, my father was a straight man to, to Mel Brooks and Sid Caesar. I was, in, in, in many senses, a straight man in, uh, for, for Carol O'Connor. And to be able to throw the 75 mile an hour fastball down the plate so that the other guy can hit it out of the park every time and to groove it and to be able to throw it right on the money every time is very, very hard to do. And any great comedian will tell you they're only as good as the person who serves them up that 75 mile an hour fastball. And so Dick was, was brilliant at that. But in terms of running the show and, and fighting the battles and having the vision for what they were going to do, that was Tommy's uh, purview. That was, that was Tommy. It was, you know, it was the most cutting edge show ever on television at that time. And, uh, um, you know, we, we butted heads with the censors all the time. And, you know, I got a hand, I've, I've said this before, but Tom Smothers had, you know, incredible uh, strength and, and fortitude to, to fight against these censors. I used to prod them all the time and say, you know, you're copping out. You're I didn't know. I was a kid. I, what the heck did I know? I mean, I was, in, you know, a real idiot about it. And I realized as, a, as an adult and as a, I've grown up, I realized what incredible strength and, and the brilliance this man had and how tough he was with these uh, censors. He pushed, to, pushed through some of the most important cutting edge sketches ever done on television at the time. I mean, you know, we were going through a war in Vietnam. There was racial unrest, and he met and faced that stuff head on with you know, on our show, and uh, very important stuff. How much did you know about his run-ins with the network? Did he come back and tell you about it? Well, or? we knew. We knew what was going on because because they were throwing sketches out. You know, from from week to week, sketches would be thrown out. We got to the playing the game with the with the network censors by putting in stuff that we knew they'd throw out, so that we could preserve things, other things, you know, trade-offs, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we knew what was going on. Do you know why the show went off the air? It went off the air because uh, they uh, bucked the censors one too many times, I think. Um, the ratings were, the ratings were never, you know, high, high up, but they were, you know, they were okay. They were doing well, but I think when they slipped a little bit in the ratings, they were so much, they were so difficult for the, for the network brass and for the censors and so on, that I think they look for a reason to get them off the air. What's the most important thing you learned from writing on that show, The Smothers Brothers? Well, the most important thing I, I learned is, you know, stand up for what you believe. I mean, to see Tommy fight the way he did and, and, and really stick by what, you know, stick by his beliefs, that's what, you le that's what you learn. You know, if you think something is good and it's important and you should do it, do it. Um, you know, and if they don't let you do it, then, you know, go down fighting. But don't give in and, and change something just to please people because it's like they say, if you can't please yourself, you, you try to please everybody and you please nobody. You got to do something that you think is right and hopefully other people will think is right too.